Good? Okay, good. This is gonna be episode one of Cat's Kitchen. Tentatively named, I'm pretty sure that's what I wanna call it because I wanna start cooking with you guys because if you watched my vlog that I posted yesterday, I was just talking about how I love cooking, but sometimes when you're alone, like I live alone now, so sometimes I'm just like, wow, like I don't have anyone to cook with, like I don't have anyone to talk to while I'm cooking, and yeah, I can listen to podcasts, like listen to music, like have TV on in the background, but you know, like sometimes like I have a lot of shit to say. I love to talk and I love to cook, but when you put me alone and you put me in the kitchen, I'm like, well, I could talk, but it's kind of boring to talk to yourself. It's kind of boring to cook for yourself. Hence, welcome to Cat's Kitchen. How fun. Also, there was this Disney computer game I used to play when I was younger, and it was like Mickey's Kitchen or like Disney's Mickey's Kitchen. I don't know, but it was the cutest fucking game ever. So, first and foremost, we need to start this off with a glass of wine. Cheers, love. What is on the menu tonight, you might be wondering. And I just want to preface this. This is not sponsored. I know that literally everybody and their mother is sponsored by HelloFresh. One day, maybe we'll get there because I have fallen in love. My mom and I made the pork tenderloin last night for the first time. It was like my first time ever trying HelloFresh. Safe to say, I'm obsessed. We did the math. It came out to like $7 a meal. And for me, like I, I'll go to the grocery store and like weekly, like I'll go to the grocery store, I'll get a thing of chicken, a thing of ground turkey, and then obviously like eggs, bread, cheese, like all the other stuff. But then it's like, I usually end up letting one of the meats go bad because it's like, I'll cook pasta with the ground turkey and then I'll have it for four days and then I go to my friend's house or I like eat out or something and then it's like, oh, I'll freeze the chicken and then it's just a whole big thing. So at least for dinner meals, I think for me personally, HelloFresh is like really fucking awesome because you get it for people of two, at least like the lowest serving amount you can go is uh, dinner for two. So like if you're one and that's dinner for one and lunch the next day for one. So anyway, with all that being said, this is what's on the menu tonight. And it is the crispy buffalo spice chicken with blue cheese sauce, scallion mashed potatoes and carrots. That's what we're gonna be fucking cooking. I'm so excited, I'm so excited to cook with you guys. You have no idea how happy this makes me. Guys, look how cool this cutting board is. It comes with this little like strainer thing that just fits right into it. You put it right over the sink, cut up your shit, put it in there, rinse it out, and you're good to fucking up. This is how like HelloFresh shit comes. It comes in these cute little bags, and it tells you what each of them is, and then if you get meat with it, then it'll come in its own little portion. Chives, green onions, scallions. What the fuck is the difference between all those? Carrots, oh, like big bunny carrots. I'm assuming, this is the panko, this is the fry seasoning blend. Blue cheese dressing, I used to hate blue cheese, but I kind of like it now, but, oh, dang. Frank's Red Hot is literally my favorite fucking hot sauce. It's the only hot sauce to me that actually has a flavor other than just hot. Cholula's pretty good too. What's this? Sour cream, okay. See, the thing about it too is like, like if I want more sour cream, I have sour cream in the fridge. Like, sour cream is such a fridge ingredient. Potatoes. Also, I was talking last night with my mom about how like, I would never go to the store and like pick up a thing of potatoes. Do I love potatoes? Yes, absolutely. Um, would I go out of my way to get them? No. This is what my meal is supposed to look like. I don't know if that's in focus. Wash and dry produce, trim, peel, and cut carrots on a diagonal into half inch thick pieces. Dice potatoes into half inch pieces. Trim and thinly slice scallions, separating whites from greens. Cake, fucking cake, bro. If you guys are looking for like a good set of knives, the Chicago Cutlery brand, I don't know if, what specific type, but these are the wooden handles. You can't dishwash them though, so if you're not trying to have knives that you can't dishwash, Definitely don't get these. I dishwashed one of them and the like sealant on the wood part came off. So now like I have one knife that's super splintery. I'm sure I could like put something on it again to make it fine, like sand it down and like seal it. But um, they're from Target. I think they were about like $99, which I didn't know knives were so fucking expensive. And I know that's cheap. Like I know like in the kitchen world, that's not that expensive. Yeah, so I definitely feel like I should have had like a peeler, like a, you know, you know what I'm talking about? A vegetable peeler? My mom has two, so that doesn't help me now. 
honestly too, like I love the way that the HelloFresh instructions are written just because it makes sense to like how you would move around the kitchen. Just to me, it makes sense. I feel like if you're a very like, type A person, like I'm not a type A person, um, it might like bug you a little bit, but like, you know, like, okay, say you're cooking pasta with a meat sauce, right? Like you're gonna heat up the meat first. Like you're gonna put the meat on a pan you're gonna let it brown and stuff. Then you're gonna get, like while that's happening, you're gonna fill up your pot with water, put it on the boiler. Then you're gonna like season your meat and then add the sauce and like make the sauce. And then once the water's, so it's like you go back and forth between each step. But like last night when my mom and I were doing this, it was, she was just like, why is it going back and forth between each step? And my mom is a very type A person. Like she's very like orderly and organized and like does shit and gets it done. And um, she was like, these don't make any sense. Like, why would I go from here to there? And I was just like, no, that makes perfect sense to me. And like these, like when I buy these at the store, you get them in like a big ass bundle, right? And I'll use like two of them and the rest will go bad. So like, this is perfect for me. Just cause I wanna, more bite size. Like more like, um, like breakfast potatoes. Also, why do they call those home fries? I was a cart girl and we made sandwiches for the beverage cart in the morning, so. Sometimes we would get there and the chefs would already be there like prepping the kitchen for the day and they would watch us cut things and they were like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, how do you cut things with those nails? Like, it was so funny. See, like when I do this shit, it scares my mom, which is like very understandable. Like if I was babysitting and I saw a kid do this, I'd be like, <gasps> it's actually so funny. Once when I was, I was watching these kids and like when I was in high school, I used to babysit. Um, and they were like the best kids. Like they were so fucking smart. Um, and they, you know like when you were little and you would like, my, my counters aren't close enough to do it. But like you would put your hands on each counter and like swing in between them. Like I used to do that shit all the time when I was little. But the kids started doing it. I was like, oh my gosh, please don't do that. Like you're gonna break your face open. And was, they were the type of kids that I could really talk to about it. Like they were, they were so fun to like hang out with. How fun, I'm sweating. Like, I need the air. Toss carrots on baking sheet with large, with a large drizzle of olive oil, half the fry seasoning, salt and pepper. Roast on top rack until golden brown and tender. Okay, I'm gonna mix that all in a bowl first. Oil. I love olive oil, so I'm not afraid of it. Okay, half of the fry seasoning? Is that like half? My oven just preheated. I was talking to you guys about, um, on my Instagram, sorry, hang on, let me finish this and then we'll talk. On my Instagram today, I asked you guys, like, what, like, just, like, topics to talk about because I really like doing just, like, girl talk, like, just, like, that kind of stuff. And if you guys didn't know, in senior, you probably didn't know this because I don't talk about it a lot. But my senior year of high school, I had a podcast and I called it Coffee with Cat. I think I only made, like, four episodes. But, um, I was just, it was just, like, a very, like, cutesy, like, vibe, you know, um, and I called it Coffee with Cat, which now I'm, like, okay, that's, like, not very creative, which, like, whatever, it's cute, but, like, I would not personally use that name now, just because I'm, like, I think we could get something a little catchier or something a little less, like, cliche, I guess, I don't even know if it's, like, cliche is the right word, but anyway, I was asking you guys, like, just, like, topics you want to talk about, and, like, everybody, I was live the other day on TikTok, and you guys were, like, if you started a podcast, like, I would definitely listen, and I feel like you guys don't know me a whole lot, like, especially if you came from TikTok, like, you know, like, my outfits, right? Like, you don't know me, and, like, I have so much more to, like, offer than just fashion, and, like, I want to do that, but I don't think TikToks is, is, like, necessarily the place for me to do it, but if I started, like, a series on my YouTube that's, like, kind of, like, a podcasty energy, I feel like that would be a lot of fun, and I was just asking you guys, like, topics and, like, brainstorming names, and you guys came up with some good ones, but then I remember, like, I used to, like, obviously, like, in my bio on, like, all my socials, I always say, like, welcome to the cat show, because I think it's just so fun, but I don't know if that would be, like, a good podcast series name, but it kind of would be, because it kind of just, like, like, the Drew Barrymore show. Is that what it's called? I don't know, but anyway, um, wow, this feels amazing right now. Um, anyway, toast, roast on top rack until golden brown and tender 20 to 25 minutes okay we'll start with 20 21 i guess all right now what while carrots roast place potatoes in a medium pot with enough salted water to cover by two inches 
Bring to a boil and cook until tender for 15 to 20 minutes. This is gonna take a lot longer than I thought it was. Okay, shorts acquired. Honestly, now I gotta lose the sweater. Probably means like, with enough salted water. So should I put the potatoes in first and then fill it or should I? I feel like that's the smartest. And then I just salt it. Oh, there we go. If this whole thing has been out of focus, I'm gonna cry. But anyway, um, yeah, usually I use my Sony for my sit down videos. Wow, I'm gonna literally fucking cry if this whole thing has been out of focus. Cause like, what can we do now? Like, I can't, I can't just restart it. We're already cooking. Anyway, I'm gonna salt the water. All right, what else does this hate though? Okay. Wild carrots roast, please potatoes in a medium pot with enough salted water to cover by two inches. Bring to a boil and cook until tender, 15 to 20 minutes. Reserve half a cup of potato cooking liquid. Drain and return potatoes to pot. Mash with one packet sour cream and one tablespoon of butter until smooth, adding splashes of reserved potato cooking liquid as needed. Potato cooking liquid, that's nasty. Okay, at least from what I could tell, I just looked at the footage on my camera. At least I think it's in focus. It might be a little blurry. But yeah, I'm still trying to figure out the Canon G7X. Um, it's just a little interesting. Like, it kind of like the autofocus isn't the best on it. Like, when you have it in vlogging mode, like right now, you can't see because it's on the viewfinder. But I have a square hovering over my face on the viewfinder. And it's tracking my face. So, like, wherever I move, it's going with me. But that leads me to believe that like when my face is out of focus, like it's confused and it's like, oh, where do we, where do we go? Um, but that's fine. But yeah, usually when I'm filming just like still type of videos, I'll use my Sony Alpha 6400 camera, which I love. But this is such a good vlog camera. Meanwhile, pat chicken dry with paper towels. <laughs> I've never been this open about um, handling raw meat like i've never been so willing to hold it in my hand like this in a shallow oh so i'm gonna just like bread this okay that makes sense holy shit well the pan just like oh that smells so delicious the pan like you know when pans would like like um kind of warp in the middle because of the heat I will say, those are the most like top tier quality pans probably. Okay, here's my shallow microwave safe bowl. Awesome. I've never understood why everything needs to be hooked together. Like, it's just more inconvenient. So I'm just melting a tablespoon of butter. I feel like that's an excessive dish to be putting it in. But I guess I'm gonna end up making like I probably could have eyeballed this, and honestly, the more butter you have, probably the fucking yummier it is, so. We're going to the microwave, baby. Panko. Frank seasoning one and a pinch of pepper and salt. Brush one packet sour cream on the tops of chicken in a thin layer. I'm just gonna fucking finger paint. I want you guys to watch. You haven't been seeing the action. I'm finger painting here. It said thin layer, but I feel like, I feel like this is, like this is what they meant. Like one packet for each chicken. Oh my gosh, it's something bloody. I can't, I can't do that. Sorry chicken, you're gonna have to get out. Ugh. I try not to think about what this actually is. Let me get that all back together. Two. Do, am I gonna need the panko any other side? So yeah, I can like literally just fuck around and use the rest of this. Like, yay, we get to play. It's like playing in the sandbox when you're little. Wow, the timing of everything literally comes out perfect. My carrots are literally gonna be done in a minute. And then I'm gonna, wow.
All right, I'm gonna let this hang out for the rest of the time that the chicken's cooking. And then while that's happening, I'm gonna make the sauce. When chicken cooks in a small bowl, combine blue cheese dressing, scallion whites, and remaining sour cream. I didn't cut these up. I'm assuming I'll put the green parts in the um, potatoes and the white parts in the sauce. Blue cheese dressing. Um, also when I worked at the country club, before I worked on the beverage car, I was a food runner. <laughs> and what, like obviously one of our things was to like scoop the dressings like for salads or wings or whatever people eat them for. And I love scooping the fucking blue cheese because the chunks in it, like cause they made it all in the, fuck. They made it all in the kitchen that day. Like it wasn't like pre-made blue cheese, like they made it. And they ate the chunks that were in it. Oh, it's so much fun. I'm supposed to be doing this, right? Yeah, remaining sour cream. I need to like update some kitchen stuff. Like you really don't know what you need until you start cooking. Like I got the basics. Like I got a small pan. I got a big pan. I got a pot. I got baking sheets. I have like a cupcake tin. Um, like obviously like this type of stuff, but like, like a potato masher, a carrot peeler. I really don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to do with the mashed potatoes. Like do you mash potatoes in the pot? You see? This is how our chicken's looking. This is how the carrots are looking. Obviously potatoes. This is my kitchen mess. Our cream. What the fuck is that called? Sauce. Okay. My potatoes, I kind of started like mashing up up against the side. So I think they're ready. So I need to reserve a half a cup of potato cooking liquid. I hate that. these are for dry but honestly you can put whatever you want in them and i feel like it'll just be easier to like scoop out my potato liquid oops i got some potato in there awesome there honestly i should probably just put it in a cup like a, a real measuring cup see i don't know why i do this like i don't know why i needed to carry it over here with me it just felt like something i needed to do that felt like it could go wrong because those are plastic. So I didn't want it to like melt. Drain and return potatoes to pot. You know what's so cool about my, my pot? It has these little holes right here. So I don't even need a, a strainer. I could just watch. You'll see. See? I think I got this from Target. It's the tea fowl brand. The rest. Honestly, a strainer would be like easier, but I'm, I'm a I'm a firm believer in a um, less dishes, better tasting meal. Nice angle of me, right? Look at that. Okay, okay. All right. I've never baked chicken before, so I don't know if that's done. I'm gonna err on the side of caution because honestly, um. Raw chicken to me, like that's the scariest thing you could say. Like I will eat raw fish all day, but my steaks, I don't like a bloody, but I'll eat a medium rare. Like uh, I don't care if they're a little bit bloody. Like if I'm on the more side, if they're more on the rare side of medium rare, like I won't cry about it. But chicken, I'm gonna do it for another two minutes. All right. So how do you guys think I should mash my potatoes? I'm gonna do it off the stove. I'll do it right here. I feel like if I get them up against the side. Oh wait, what am I supposed to be doing with that potato cooking liquid? Mash with one packet of sour cream. I don't have any more sour cream. I used it all for the sauce. That's, I was wondering why I had so much fucking sauce. One tablespoon of butter and some sour cream. Okay, I have sour cream. But it's okay. Honestly, this is one of those things that's just like how much yumminess you want. So we're gonna go in with not that much butter, but like a, a good amount of butter. I was trying to make some ambiance by having this candle, but obviously it's kind of just in the fucking way right now. The rest of that packet was probably like that much sour cream. We'll keep it out. Um. Okay, I, I'll just use the potato cooking liquid as needed. 
You know, this is going a lot better than I thought it was. Because a lot of HelloFresh meals have mashed potatoes and they all look good. I never really considered the fact that um, I would be mashing them. I don't know why. Oh, let me take the chicken out. just like floated up into my eyeballs. Like those mashed, bro. Like those are mashed fucking potato. Amazing. Chicken, some mashed potatoes. I could have definitely used a smaller plate. I think it would look better. But the sauce, we want the chicken. My wine, my food. Okay, let's try this. Okay, what should we try first? Let's try the mashed potatoes first because I'm really proud of those. Mmm, scrumptious, scrumptious. They could use some more salt, but they're really bright and fresh. All right, what about the carrots? Mmm, mmm, mmm. All right, it's time. The chicken. It looks like it got cooked beautifully. Oh my god. That's fucking scrumptious. I'm gonna get it with a bite of carrot and mashed potatoes because I love mixing my food like that. Don't look at my laundry. Oh my god. I'm gonna finish eating this. I'm gonna leave you with a cheers, love. And I hope you enjoyed Cat's Kitchen. And I hope you have a good fucking day.